I got the idea for Joshua Path when I was in film school. I was working on a documentary and a missionary came home on furlough and I wanted to spend some time with him and his family, but they were always busy visiting other churches, telling them about what they were doing in the field. And I said, well, isn't furlough for rest? And they said, yeah, but we actually get more rest when we're back home in the field. Here we have to visit churches. We have to tell them what we're doing. And I thought there's got to be a better way. But to haul a bulky film camera around would be too difficult. So nine years later, video cameras became small enough and a computer like a laptop. We could go anywhere in the world now with that. Essentially, we're providing a tool that missionaries can use over and over and over again. If you gave a missionary $100, they're going to spend it and it's going to be spent and gone. If Joshua Path got that and we underwrote these videos that we want to produce for them, they get a tool that they use over and over again to raise more and more support coming in. So in other words, you could give the missionary a fishing pole, we can give them a net. Joshua Path is meeting a need of missionaries through technology. We're providing videos for them to help them raise awareness of what they do. So we're unique in the fact that there's not many organizations out there doing that. In fact, I only know of a handful that are doing what we're doing. I know of zero that are providing free videos for missionaries. Joshua Path needs people to underwrite our videos so kids suffering from malaria and AIDS and tuberculosis have medicine. In part because our videos reach thousands of people that want to help. Orphans across the globe from Africa to Asia to Europe are going to get homes, they're going to get an education, they're going to get school, they're going to get food, it's going to get them off the street. Our videos help mobilize people to come and build a school to build a hospital, to help just donate their time, to donate their energy. And if they can't physically go, then they could donate financially. We can get videos in the hands of missionaries to help them do their work better. We can help give them that hand up that they desperately need. One place that sticks out the most in my mind of all my travels anywhere in the world has been the country of Ukraine. I went there a few years ago to shoot a video for a mission organization there and ended up adopting three sons from there. So Joshua Path, we feel like we, we walk the walk and not just talk the talk. We lead by example with our work. But not far from where my son's orphanages were from was a trash dump. And we went there to shoot some footage one day for another organization. We were walking knee deep in trash. It was almost surreal, like a shot out of Schindler's List. It was cold, there was smoke in the air from the trash dump on fire. And we, we were there to shoot street kids that were scrounging for food um, because this ministry was helping kids get off the street. And one particular spot that our guide took us to, took us to this little box. It was probably no bigger than a dog house, but it was just, just made of wood. And he said that a little girl lived there. And I, I didn't quite get it until he lifted the lid and you could see the stuffed animals that she had collected from the dump. You could see the toys that she had collected and had in her little house. And it brought tears to my eyes. I, I was weeping and stunned at the same time because I have little girls at home and I couldn't imagine what life was like for this eight or nine year old child living right there and I wanted to help so bad. And I knew that our work, our videos were going to make a difference. 